Hey guys, Ranch Boss here. I'm down here in the honey hole doing a preseason tour. It's unbelievable that the hogs are down here. And I'm gonna see what I can get on uh, on the camera for you and show you. For, for those that are scheduled to come out uh, in September, if you haven't already got your spot down here in the honey hole, you need to do it because last season the success rate was 100% down here and there's more hogs down here than there was last season. So let's drive around and see what we can see down here in the honey hole. There's three big hogs right there, and they don't think I see them, so they're not moving. They're starting to stir around. That one in the middle is over 200 pounds. Oh, that one next to them isn't that much smaller, and there's hogs running around behind them. I'm going to get out. I think sometimes I get too comfortable doing this because this is, I'd get upset if somebody else did this. See if I can get them to move. These are wild animals. There they go. These are wild animals, and they have a instinct fear of man. Even though that they could wipe us out if they wanted to, God has given them an instinct fear for the, for the greatest predator on earth, and that's man. So they they want to flight before they fight and it's to our own good fortune that that's the case because you'd be hard pressed to defend yourself against a boar and his big teeth. So all right, let's keep on going with this little tour. All right, we're coming up on some uh, elk, some elk cows and fawns. We had a good birth rate this last year. Got a bunch of these animals and they are really looking good this season. Oh, there's some oryx back there, an African animal. Here's a nice elk cow. Some bulls back there just laying around in the cool of the, oh, look at all the hogs up there everywhere. All right, guys. See if you can focus in on these hogs across this slough. There's about eight of them, and these are big hogs right here. They're just standing there looking at me. Let me try to zoom this thing. Okay. They're looking right at me, but they know they're safe because there they go. Oh, yeah, those are big. There's four of them in there over 200 pounds. This honey hole is just chock full. This is the lowest part. This is about one third of the ranch, and it's a very low, um, swampy area, wet and nasty when it rains, and it's just a natural habitat for game. Not just the hogs. There go some more hogs that were hiding. I didn't even see those. They're taking off. Good gosh. There's another big hog over 200 pounds in there. But the animals are smart. It's cooler down here. It's wet. There's a lot of food down here. And this is where they come. That's not to say that if you don't come down here, you're not. That was about a 150 pound boar. Just laying in the weeds here. Okay guys, if you're on a spot and stock and you come up to brush like this, a lot of times there's hogs laying up against brush just like that. You think it's just a dark shadow and it's actually a big hog laying up against the brush. Let me walk a little closer and show you guys what I'm talking about. From a distance, you can't tell if that's a shadow or if that's a black hog laying up against a stump like this. And that is a perfect place. It's good, shaded. All the time I'm finding hogs laying up in little 
little places like that. So when you're out on a spot and stock on day two, there they go. They're right in front of me. A whole bunch of them. Can't even see them. The weeds are so high. There they go, off in the distance. I don't know if you can see them. About 20 little ones. Those look like a pack of piglets. All right, let's see what else we can see down here in the honey hole. Okay, guys, I just rolled past a hog that was sleeping. He's right here in this brush, and uh, he just totally ignored me. He's a good thing I'm not hunting. Let's see how long before he jumps up and takes off. He looked like he was asleep. His ears are standing up, so he knows that I'm here. He sees me, but he don't want to get up. He don't want to get up and move. That's about a 50 pounder. There he goes. There he goes. And guys, when you're out here doing a spot and stock, these hogs, especially when it's warm or if it's real cold, they don't want to burn energy. And they will lay there until they feel that it's imminent that you're about to get them. And then they take off just like that one did. So you have to be aware. Just because you don't see anything moving, don't think that there's not hogs all around you. By the time they're moving, it's basically too late. So you always have to have heads up and be ready to shoot. Of course, we don't ever walk around with the safety off and finger on the trigger. You don't do that until it is time to shoot. But safety first. But anyway, I digress. Let's keep on looking for some hogs. Okay, guys, here's a... These hogs are standing still in the woods. Let's see if I can get any before they start running because there's a bunch of them and they're just looking at me. They're not moving. You probably won't be able to see them until they take off running. Let's see how close I can get before they take off. There they go. Ooh, there's a good one. Ooh, that's a pretty hog. Pretty hog. Has brown. Uh, that's a wall hanger. Looks like a the way he's carrying his tail. He actually looks like a, uh, a uh, oh shoot, mine went blank. Those uh, warthogs. He looked like a warthog the way he's carrying his tail. And that quick, they're out of sight. Okay guys, that was just a little tour of the honey hole, let you see what's going on down there. I think you got the idea, and uh, I'm just out of the honey hole, and I'm going to turn around where you can see how thick it gets. This is one of the leading edges of the honey hole, and you can see we go from an open field to thick, thick woods, and uh, it's been a while since anybody failed to have 100% success down there like I said earlier in this video last year the success rate was 100% so anyway guys if you haven't already reserved your spot down here for the honey hole for September October you can go online you can click click on the link in in this video and reserve your spot and if you haven't bought a hunt you know what to do we'll see you guys out here soon